I actually have had to uh, sign autographs as Vixie. They'll have pictures from the film or something, and they'll go, could you say love Vixie? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, they don't want Sandy Duck, and they want Vixie. So uh, I've had a long history with Vixie. She's very popular. Handsome. Oh, say, gee, uh, he sure sounds nice. Handsome? Oh, <laughs> he sounds nice. Well, you know, maybe there's something I could do, you know, cheer him up. Maybe there's something I can do, um, cheer him up? Todd, I, I just know you're gonna love the forest. Listen, come on, let me show you around. I just knew that you were gonna love the forest. <laughs> you want me to show you around? But it was a very shy relationship. But I think Vixie, wasn't she the one that sort of motivated everything? She sort of led him, didn't she? She was so cute and so sweet. A little bit Southern, just a little bit. Was, was Mickey Rooney doing a yeah. Southern kind of voice too? Who, who is, is that? Oh, just another fox. A lady fox. Golly. Is she beautiful? Kind of a little bit. It was a, a it was colloquial anyway. And so I had heard his uh, takes of what he was doing. Again, not working together. We, uh, we never were in a studio together. So I just sort of made up this little sweet box. And uh, as I said, every day that, or, you know, when I go in and time, and the fox really started to kind of have a nose like mine and would sort of look around like I did. I was young then, and so I was very perky. Todd! Oh, hi, Big Mama. Oh, it's you, Vixie. Uh, hey, what brings you way out here? The incredible thing is you start to feel like you are that character. I mean, you start to feel like you're a little animated thing that you know because they'll show you pictures as it progresses so you can get a feel and a sense of what you're playing and so you sort of you start to move you know in a very specific way for that character it's not just voice is my point there's a physicality to it that's never seen it's just in the studio and most and, and that sometimes the artist would sit right in the room it wasn't uh, solitary from what he was doing <laughs> Thanks. What is your first name? Dixie. Dixie. Uh huh. They called me and asked if I would do it, and I said, "Sure, that would be fun." And that's as much as there was to it. And then I go out to the Disney studio because I did a couple of films for them, so there was a relationship there. And I just go to the studio every now and then, and you'd, a couple of months would go by, and then you'd go and do another scene. I did a thing called Varney and the Backyard Gang. The first three episodes, I was generic mom. And then I had a really sweet thing happen. I was doing a nightclub act. It was real late at night. I went to a restaurant and this waitress said, are you Sandy Duncan? And I went, I, yeah, I am. And she said, I'm gonna cry. She said, my son watches it every day. He's autistic. So you never know who you're landing with. You never know whose life you're going to be a part of and how. Hmm. Most of those old time Disney films, whether they're fantasy and not maybe accurate in today's world, on many levels, they are so comforting. And, uh, you know, harks back to a, a different time. They really get to you, I and mean, if you see them when you're young, they stay with you forever. You know, people have memories of those things, and it's part of their lives. 